Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron laptop. It's a Dell Inspiron 5000 series. The exact model is a 5502 or 5509. These are two mixed version in one as they are specificated in the website. The tag number is a C2N7763. All right, in this video, I'm gonna take you on step-by-step step how you can open it up and how you can add, remove your RAM in your laptop. If you wanna know your, your maximum RAM capacity for your laptop, check the link in the video description. I made a really short video how to check your maximum RAM capacity for your laptop depending on the CPUs that you have, so check that link. If yours is holding up to 32 gig or 64 gig, then you can follow this video how to open it up and how to replace it. We have upgraded this laptop up to, I believe, 32 gig to 16s. We have upgraded this ones. I haven't tried 64 gig, so I don't see a need for this model to go over uh, 32 gig. So you can put two 16 gig. If you have an 8 gig, you can just add another 16 gig in beside it so you don't throw the other 8 gig out, but you can remove both 8 gigs, whatever you have in here, put two 16 gigs in here. The links for the tools and the compatible RAMs will be in my video description in case you want to purchase yours. All right. So first thing first, you want to power off the laptop completely. You don't put on a suspension or hibernation or anything like that. Power it off entirely completely. Then you want to grab yourself the screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFix screwdriver set as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there. We are going to be using a Phillips, I believe, number double zero. And if you get uh, the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and tweezers. If not, just grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with all this set, let's get into it. On the bottom of the laptop, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. We're going to remove all of them except the two corner back ones. We're going to leave them for the end, and I'll show you why. So remove the one in the back mid, sides, and the front row of the laptop. And keep them in a one pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and supports me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the commentary. I appreciate that. All right, now that we remove most of the screws, the one on here. So the reason we didn't remove the back corner ones because they have something called a C-lock. The C-lock will prevent from the screw coming out entirely and it serves a different purpose. As soon as I start rotating this screw, the case will get separated from the bottom because of the C-lock right there. So you can see that tiny gap in there. So you want to rotate and then you hear a click sound. Same thing on here. I'm just going to rotate. And there you go. You see this gap opening right here. Now, what you want to do, you want to stick the guitar pick about one or two millimeters in this gap. And you just want to twist it. You're just peeling it off like this. And you want to hear those click sounds. Those are the clips that are getting loose. Once you did the side one corner here, you can put your thumb on the hinge. Grab it from here and lift it up. Yank it up a little bit and push it back. And it will release the rest. Or you could just work yourself with a guitar pick all around, but I find it much more easy to just yank it up. All right. Now that we remove that one right there, we can see it's kind of dirty. We gotta do a cleaning on this one later on. And right away, we can see there is a one RAM right there and second RAM. These are DDR4 RAMs. And then for this video, I'm gonna remove this cover on top here. I'll put it in here. You can remove it too, there's an adhesive to it, so you guys can see. All right, there's a two RAM DIMM available in here. There's an eight gig and eight gig in here. You can remove and put a four gig, 16 gig and 16 gig on this model. To remove the RAM, all you wanna do, you wanna put your fingers on this trigger and this trigger right in here, and then you just wanna separate them away from each other slowly, and the RAM will pop out in 45 degree angle. All you want to do, you want to grab it in 45 degree angle and you want to slide it backward towards the side of the laptop. You don't want to yank it towards the upward, otherwise you can crack the RAM or the DIMM. So you just want to slide it backward. Same thing on the other side. Remove the triggers. These triggers are plastic, this is a metal. You can let that tiny help. It will come up in 45 degree angle. Again, pull it back out. 
doesn't matter the RAM orientation of the, for the chip or anything like that, as long as the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the DIMM. So if I try to put it the other way around, let's say this way, it's not going to go through because the uh, contacts are not matching. So you want to flip it, grab your new RAM, upgraded RAM, 16 gig if you want, or 32 gig. Bring it in 45 degree angle inside the jack all the way in. And then simply you want to push it towards the motherboard and you want to hear these two triggers open and close automatically. Just like that. Same thing in here. Make sure the notch matches. Bring it in 45 degree angle. And push it towards the motherboard. And there we have it. And I'll put this adhesive shield right on top. And there we have it. Also, to do a RAM upgrade, anything like that, you do not need to disconnect or remove the battery. It's absolutely not necessary. If you want to be paranoid and you want to disconnect the battery, you can just pull this jack backward straight and it will disconnect the uh, connector right in there. But again, I do not recommend you guys do it because you can shorten the battery by doing this. Okay? But if you want to put it back in, make sure you slide it straight evenly inside the connector. and Pinch it all the way in. Right, once you're done with this one, all you want to do, you want to put the bottom cover on. You squeeze the corner in the front and on the side. You don't want to push on the corner back. You just simply want to screw down the screw and it will pull the cover to itself. And if you see any more gaps, just help it out by the tiny push. And on the back side, same thing on the other side. And to finish it off, just put the rest of the screw all over the bottom cover. Also, just remember, once you power it on, once you upgrade the RAM, it might take 5 to 10 seconds for it to do a mem check, which is called a memory check, before it can show anything on the screen. So be patient. And if they, after 5 to 15 seconds, it didn't show up anything, just power it up, switch the RAM places, and try again. And it will work. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And this is how you upgrade the RAM for your Dell Inspiron 5000 series 5502 laptop. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screen.